visual artists translate the experience of life into colored figures and sculpted shapes. For us, the viewers of art, these images act as a medium, enabling us to relive, in a small way, the initial experience of the artist. The oldest known images are drawings of animals or people on cave walls, created more than 25,000 years ago. They were created to invoke magical power over the animal or person drawn. In later cultures, religion replaced magic as the focus of artistic interest. For the Egyptians, the human body provided a visible image that reflected the forms of the gods. Classical Greek artists sculpted images of the gods as idealized human bodies. The elegance and vitality of their work brought the human figure to life for the first time. Gods portrayed in sensual human form were also a major subject of Hindu relief sculptures. In both Greek and Hindu art, beauty and art depended upon the expression of religious principles and rules of order. The crucifixion of Christ is one of the classical images of Western art. Natural body shape is subordinate to the representation of Christ as the symbol of death and resurrection, the cornerstone of the Christian faith. Italian Renaissance artists like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci portrayed the human body in naturalistic detail. They looked upon the body itself as an ideal, worthy of study for its own sake. But three centuries after the Renaissance, European art pursued this notion of the human body as an image of beauty. Portraits with naturalistic facial expressions and body detail became popular throughout Europe. In the earliest landscapes painted by Chinese watercolorists, human figures were shown dwarfed by their majestic surroundings. In Europe, the realistic depiction of landscape had developed during the Italian Renaissance assisted by the rediscovery of the rules of perspective. Realism in Italian art influenced the rest of Europe. By the 18th century, Dutch painters had perfected the rendering of changing light effects in landscapes and in human compositions. Landscape has been a major theme for American artists. In the 19th century, painters were first inspired by their country's immense natural wilderness. Later, attention turned to the growing urban environment. In Europe, the invention of photography in the 19th century freed artists from the need to render realistic images. The Impressionists rejected realism and sought instead to capture the play of light and color on natural and human subjects. The modernist vision, inspired by Impressionism, followed two major streams in the 20th century. One of them began with Cezanne's landscape paintings, which showed visual surfaces as geometric shapes or patterns. Cubist imagery further rationalized the depiction of surfaces as lines of action or simple blocks of shape. The use of collage brought together often unrelated materials and images. It led to the blending of real and abstract forms in the dreamlike vision of surrealist work. After the Second World War, American pop and conceptual art also made use of this mixing of media and images. Another stream of modern art began with the expressionist work of Van Gogh whose subjective vision of the world was presented in bright colors and energetic brushwork. Matisse later explored the human figure with the same aggressive use of color. The expressionist vision reached its peak in the vigorous brush strokes of the American action painters like de Kooning and Pollock. This work was strongly affected by the immigration of European painters like Mondrian before the Second World War. In the abstract minimalist work of the 50s and 60s, material properties of the medium or the particular qualities of shape and pure color became the subject for the artist's work. Minimalism seemed to express the completion of the modernist abstract vision.
Since the turn of the century, sculpture was reshaped by the same abstract vision as painting. Recent sculpture has moved beyond the creation of physical objects to the illustration of theoretical concepts. In the 70s and 80s, postmodernist artists have looked to new media and to other cultures for inspiration. By blending images and reviving old themes, they seek out the possibilities of a new vision in the traditional forms of painting and sculpture.